Simulation X can be used to model vapor compression cycles. Start with an airflow representing the heat source and a water flow representing the heat sink. Heat exchangers can be parameterized using geometry or efficiency data. If you have access to measurements, you can automatically import heat flow curves from Excel. In Simulation X, we use the pneumatics library for gas calculations, the hydraulics library for liquid calculations, and the thermal fluids library for fluids that undergo a phase change. Add a piston compressor, an expansion valve, and a phase splitter. The Simulation X libraries have over 700 elements to choose from, but if you don't find what you're looking for, you can create your own components. The signals will control the valve area and the compressor RPM. Double clicking on an element will open the parameter dialog. There you can enter parameters, plot results, and get access to the help file for that element. Parameters don't have to be constant. You can also enter references to other variables in the simulation model. In a 1D simulation model, the fluid volumes represent the nodes of the network. The connection sums all of the volumes attached to it and calculates the changes in the thermodynamic states by solving differential equations for the change in pressure and specific enthalpy. A comprehensive list of fluid properties is calculated in each connection based on the current thermodynamic state. A fluid is selected by double-clicking on a connection. The fluid type is propagated throughout the entire cycle, so you only have to select the fluid once. Initial values for the thermodynamic states are set using parameters. A large selection of fluids is available, ranging from mineral oils to glycol water mixtures, moist air to helium, and a large selection of refrigerants including the RefProp database. You can also create your own fluids using Fluid Designer. Adding user controls lets us change parameters during the simulation. Choices for user controls include buttons, switches, dials, and sliders. There is also a full selection of visualizers, including Sankey diagrams and charts. This model will use the multi-chart visualizer to display a pH diagram. The sensors convey the thermodynamic states to the pH diagram. This makes it possible to see the vapor compression cycle in a pH diagram during the simulation. We'll set the simulation to a soft real-time mode so that we can adjust the user controls. Simulation X is now calculating the physical dynamics of the vapor compression cycle, based on the changing control signals. Save time, save money, see the result.